welcome back everybody now like so many people all of us we uh try to prepare for this uh time in isolation as best we could we went out and we stockpiled food and a lot of the perishables are going bad so here to teach us how to save our perishables is dr wendy bazillion hi dr hi. wendy how are you hi um Staying safe, staying well, thank goodness, and hugs to you both. Um, good to be with you. It's really true. We have so many people to thank, including our designated shopper, but everyone from our farmer to our grocer to our truck drivers to get us our food. So when we get it home, we got to keep it fresh and we got to keep it there. So I wanted to dive in and give a few tricks and tips to help out, starting with milk. And of course, we have our little one-year-old in the household. So we have our one-year-old uh, sippy you. cup in honor of you all. Milk, one of the things that we are asked all the time here um, is, can you freeze your milk? And the answer is yes. Um, when you bring milk home, and our goddaughter um, was laid off, unfortunately, temporarily from a cafe she was working at and brought us extra milk. So you can freeze it. You will lose a little bit of taste. You will lose some texture because when it freezes, it layers. But what you have to do is you have to put it in a separate container, um, not in the milk container because it does expand. And when you thaw it, just be sure to blend it somehow. Put it in the blender, use an immersion blender, something like that. You can freeze your milk, and that's the really good news on dairy. What about eggs? Wow, can I, you freeze, I did not know that. Can, can, you, do a, can yeah. you freeze eggs, and do you freeze them? How do you freeze eggs? Yeah, freezing eggs. So don't freeze them in the shell, but you definitely can oh, freeze don't. eggs. Yeah, not in the okay, shell. So, yeah, so first and you. foremost, yeah, the sales of eggs have gone up 44% since our stay at home because they are a relatively long shelf life. But when you freeze them, either separate them out, yolks and whites, or you can mix them together, but just mix them. Don't whisk them before you pop them into, you know, little like ice cube, um, silicon ice cube trays in the freezer. And just make sure that they're fresh. The quick freshness trick is that you sink them um, into water. If they float, they're not good anymore, and you should discard them. But if they they rest horizontally, they're fr they're fresh and good to go. Wow, I did not realize you should separate the egg from the shell when you froze them. Although it's never occurred to me to freeze eggs anyway, but <laughs> now I know that you can. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, and what do you have the, there? Um, this is vegetables. So on vegetables. To revive your celery, for example, or your fresh herbs, put them in some clean water, clean them first, and you can revive them. This is cheater pickles. If you have some extra pickle juice, I literally had an empty pickle jar with pickle juice in it. There's other uses for that, too. Add some dill and some of your vegetables, carrots, and cucumber that start going limp. You can get pickles out of them, which is great. And always um, consider when we buy those fresh herbs, you can put them in olive oil in the freezer in ice cube trays, and then you don't waste that herbs. It's like feast or fa famine with the fresh herbs. We either have an abundance or we're missing it, and this way you can have a solution. These are really great ideas yeah. that I never thought of. Oh, oh my what gosh, about, what about? Oh. Yeah. So we're, we're so freezing berries and bananas, which are like popsicles in the freezer. Oh yeah, exactly. So that's exactly what this is here. This is the banana popsicle. Great for smoothies, but great straight out of the freezer. Of course, when they get too speckled, you know what to do. You just throw them in the freezer and they make great banana bread. Um, but this is the time with your countertop fruit to keep the bananas separate from the others so that they ripen at their own pace. Bananas tend to hasten or speed up the ripening. And so with your mangoes and your avocado and your apples, you want to make sure that they're separated to prolong the shelf life so that they ripen. And then when they are ripe, you can pop them in the freezer and you can gain, you know, about yeah. three to five extra days with your fruit. The bananas, wow. taste, when they're frozen, they actually taste like ice cream. They really taste like banana ice they cream really without all yeah. of the guilt. We'll put more totally. tips up and these on our okay. website, kellyryan.com. Great to see you. Thanks for the good stuff there. Great to be with you. Thank you. Be okay. well. Stay safe. We'll be right back.